Hi guys, this is a little bit of a different video this time. Uh, my first video was going to actually be of how to set up a tropical tank. That will be coming, but it will be coming in the next few days. Um, recently I lost all of my fish due to an accident with a heater. The thermostat in the heater, um, obviously it's, it stopped working. And overnight managed to fry all my fish. Quite a lot of money's worth as well. So what I thought I'd do is make a video highlighting the importance of heaters the maintenance of heaters the care of heaters choosing the correct heater for your tank and any other options that you can get to just prevent this happening I know recently there's been a lot of issues with heaters due to mainly the weather they've been working overtime due to the cold but also a lot of people have been getting cheap heaters which is great at a time, it saves money, you can pick them up from the likes of a range or other, sh other stores and you can pick them up for next to nothing. This is all great, I'm not saying they won't work, they will work, but the thermostats aren't always the most reliable. The best ones to go for are Fluval, Eheim, Jewel, Rena, and all the other big name makes. These often have better parts in them, more quality parts, they have the thermostats which work much better it, I made the mistake I used a cheap heater I thought it would be fine and obviously learned the hard way but it's not so what I'm going to show you is how to choose the right heater for your tank and some of the options that you've got currently I'm using now a Fluval E200 200 watt heater my tank is only 106 litres, it's a very small tank at the moment, but that's going to be upgraded soon. But the advantage with these heaters is that it does have a thermostat, not only a normal thermostat, but it's a digital thermostat, which tells you the heat, the heat in the tank, and you can set it so it goes to the right temperature. I know most heaters have this anyway, but not a digital version. So it just gives you that little bit more accuracy, and also it's got a light indicator. If it's too hot it will be red and it will turn itself off. If it's just right it will be green. If it's not hot enough it will be cold. it will be blue. This is the fluval heater that's in my tank. I've tweaked it a little bit just for the video's sake. Um, as you can see on here it says 25 degrees and it's on a green light. This is because I lowered the temperature down a little bit. I intended to try and show it as being red but um, I just couldn't get the temperature high enough and I didn't want to risk shocking the fish. But as you can see with it being green it thinks the temperatures are okay due to the thermostat. When it is too low it would go to blue. If it gets too high it would be red. These are two other heaters that I have. One of them is from a smaller aquarium tank. This one is a 100 watt heater made by Elite. As you can see, it has the thermostat on top. A little bit different to the Fluval. As you change, you twist the knob on the top, and on here, it will explain the temperature that's there. So at the moment, it's set for 26. This would be ideal for tanks up to 100 litres, such as this Aquarell which is 50 litres which you will see a bit more of soon when I do my next video this one is a Rena 200 watt as you can see it's much larger as well it suits a larger tank up to 200 litres they do come in different sizes too so you can actually get a 200 watt which is significantly smaller as obviously not all tanks are tall, some are long, some are thin, some are narrow, wide, tall. This one will do up to a 200 litre tank. When choosing a heater for your tank you have to bear in mind different factors. For example if you have a large tank, a 6x2x2 for example, 
you can buy heaters that are up to a thousand watts you can actually buy bigger but it's not always necessary two three hundred watt heaters would be more than adequate remember not to put the two heaters close to each other one either end of a tank most people prefer to put heaters tucked in at the side I mean I have on this tank but obviously it's only a small tank so it doesn't take a lot to heat it generally I like to put my t heaters along the back of uh, along the bottom of the tank so you could run it from there through to here it hides it quite well as well and also the heat will rise your pump will then flow the water around so when the warm air the warm water rises it's obviously circulating it around the tank better another main factor to take note of is putting your heater in a point where there is not a lot of flow as not all tanks can achieve maximum flow rate and circulation for example if you put your heater at this end of the tank now on here you can see I've still got a good amount of flow but most tanks will have dead spots I mean this can be over, overcome with sieve sit positioning of your filter outlet but again that's something I'll touch upon another video putting it in a place where there is a dead spot may seem fine but you'll find that the water tends to heat more there and it doesn't circulate around the tank very well it will do eventually but it doesn't make it the most efficient you will find in warmer temperatures say for example in the summer when the temperatures of a room are higher your heater will very rarely be turned on it will just be there purely to keep the temperature at the desired level some people will use 300 watt heaters in very small tanks this is good because it's very rarely used then it's much more efficient effectively than a 100 watt which will, will be working 100% of the time whereas a 300 watt will be keeping it heated and then switching itself off when it reached the desired level and then kicking back into action when it's dropped back through to a certain level as I mentioned earlier I did lose all my fish due to the thermostat not working on mine it, it went and obviously the heater didn't know when to turn itself off so it just kept heating the, tip, the water when I checked it it was 42 degrees but the heater was stone cold which means it had been turned off or shut itself off or overheated a while ago so it could have reached high 50s at most this is something that can happen to all heaters I know I mentioned that you should go for the better brand name ones such as Joule, Fluval, Rena etc doesn't mean that it won't happen with these heaters it just means that the parts are usually a little bit better a little bit more reliable there are other options to keep on top of it some people use electric thermostats which are plugged into the sockets and then they have a socket on the outside of it so you can plug your heater into that it then has a probe which sits in the water and then the thermostat at the plug is set to a certain temperature when it reaches that temperature it will just turn the heater off so there's no power going to the heater at all and then when the temperature drops back down or below a certain level it will switch the heater back on this is a very secure method as long as the probe stays in the water and intact another essential purchase is a thermometer now you can get these in the traditional glass forms which sort of float in the bottom top of your tank and will read the water temperature of the water obviously most heaters don't have the digital readers so it's harder to determine the temperature of water never leave it without a thermometer in the water because otherwise it may be reading 27 what you've turned on the heater but the water could actually be much hotter or it could be too cold now I use digital thermometers now these work very similar to the thermostats that you plug in they have a probe that sits in the water attached to this wire and this then reads the temperature of the water as you can see I've just pulled we probe out 
and it's dropped right down which shows the importance of keeping it in. Now putting it back in it's gone back up to 27. So to conclude this video all you need to do is keep an eye on the heater please please don't just rely on the heater to work 100% of the time it is important to keep checking your water keep checking, checking your temperature Bear in mind the factors that are in the room, so if your room is very hot, bear in mind your tank will get hot. So it's important to keep a check on this. Keeping your lights down if you're using fluorescent tubes, or halides especially, will reduce your temperature. LEDs not so, as they don't tend to emit a great deal of heat. Purchasing external thermostats especially on bigger tanks or tanks with a lot of money's worth of fish in there is a must it's certainly something that I'm going to be purchasing and I will review one of those on another video I hope you took a little bit of information from this video I know it wasn't the most entertaining video and it was probably a little bit drawn out but I just thought I'd let everybody know the importance of heaters as one heater going wrong can cause devastating effects. But keep tuned, I will be posting more videos soon, hopefully one a week, and there will be videos including DIY filters, how to set up tropical tanks, basic tropical tanks, how to set up region specific biotopes, DIY caves, as you can see in my tank. The, the cave in the tank is provided by a good friend, which I will provide a link on the video. Please subscribe, and I look forward to hearing from any feedback from you. Mm -hmm.